Hello people, I welcome you to my YouTube channel and I remain in the strides and then I'm still on the African industrialization uh, series. Actually what I tend to do with this series is to show you where industrialization and development is happening in Africa and what better place to start than to start in Nigeria to start from a number of state. And I'm going to be talking about uh, Innocent Motors Innocent Motors, uh, which is a, a product of Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company, Nigeria. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be saying, uh, doing a kind of an overview of this company, and then I'm going to be submitting what I think this company, what this company have achieved, yes, and what I think they should do more, okay, to cut across uh, Nigeria and to cut across Africa and the rest of the world. Now, the truth is that this company has great prospect. Uh, established in 2007 by a visionary uh, chief, Innocent Chukuma. Wala, that's uh, the chairman and the founder of Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company. And then uh, uh, this man came with a very uh, loud claim like the Ford, Henry Ford of his day, and said that his vision is to make sure that there is no Tokumbo cars in Nigeria. Yes, by producing or manufacturing affordable cars. We know that Nigeria have been a, a dumping ground for for Tokumbo cars. Okay? And then that is why we have seen increase in in uh, auto crash, increase in auto mishaps and accidents on Nigerian road. Uh, one of the con things that contributed to it is because most of these cars are unfit for the Nigerian road being that they are old cars and this man came with a vision that he wants to uh, depopulate or possibly eliminate uh, Tokumba cars in Nigeria by providing an alternative uh, which is a the series of his guys and since he started he has actually done much even though there is still many things to do okay now uh, the very first claim that uh, innocent made was that they are a manufacturing car manufacturing company I think that is what informs the name IVM. IVM is a Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company, Nigeria. Yes, not a, an assembling company. Now, before now, there were a lot of cars. There were cars assembled in Nigeria. Innocent himself, if I my memory serves me right, uh, used to be a neighbor to Anamco. Anamco is a number of uh, car assembly company that is located in Emene Enugu State. Yes. And then used to be a neighbor to Innocent, Innocent Plastics. Now, if you ask me, I would say that is where his interest in car manufacturing began to grow. Even though before now he has been into uh, uh, Tokumbo. Uh, spare parts, motorbike uh, importations and all that. Uh, but I, I also believe that being a neighbor to Anamco also uh, inspired him to want to go into these uh, car manufacturing companies. So the, the one of the major claims that they actually made is the fact that they are a car manufacturing company. Now, Nigerians have... Uh, 
wants to believe otherwise. The narrative wants to believe otherwise and they're coming up with a different narrative that it's a car assembling company. But I made my research, what does it take to be a car manufacturing company? Okay, Innocent claimed that 70% of the components of this car is manufactured in Nigeria. <laughs> okay, 70%. And I went to do my research and I discovered that there is no single car manufacturing company in the world, anywhere you can do your research, that manufactures completely, that manufactures completely every component of a car. So it's possible for you to see a car manufacturing company based in US that is importing vehicle, uh, importing engine from France and importing engine from a uh, car engine from elsewhere. All right. And maybe some other components uh, so for you to claim to be a, car, a manufacturing company means that at least you should be manufacturing at least 60 to 70 percent of the components of the car and that is what uh, innocent claimed to be doing all right now um, uh, if that is true okay if that claim is true then we can rightly call this company a manufacturing company forget about the propaganda that it's an assembly company uh, assembling car car assembling company not a manufacturing company all right because there are people who will want you to believe uh, otherwise but my my uh, take my interest begin to grow when I some time in July 2021, Innocent upgraded to a robotic uh, car manufacturing plant. All right, they established two more plants in Newi and upgraded to a car manufacturing plant, a robotic car uh, manufacturing plant, which means that they have replaced uh, manual labor with uh with uh, robots thereby automating the process of manufacturing and assembling the different components all right having manufactured them has automated the process thereby making it faster in his claim he said that uh, usually to assemble these cars would take uh, manually would take like six hours but with the robots, it takes like four minutes. Well, that's a laudable, uh, a laudable uh, 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 feat that he has achieved there. He said by doing so that Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company could produce as much as 36,000 cars in Nigeria uh, in a year. Then my, this is my take. My take is with regards to patronage. How much of these cars are being patronized indigenously? I know that this man is a dogged, uh, uh, is a dogged businessman, spread his tentacles across Africa, and all that. But how much has he really done, or the company itself really done? to actually cut across especially Nigerians if there is anything that I have noticed is that the IVM cars are not popular in Nigerians apart from the patronage of um, maybe on the grounds of solidarity or on the grounds of okay let's support our own and all that apart from the patronage of uh, government government uh, uh, they uh, I know they're in partnership with the Nigerian military they produce military vehicles for them and then there are states like Abia Imo and then uh, Anambra many other states that are uh, Bauchi that have patronized them and using their car as an official car okay 
innocent vehicle manufacturing company has quite ranges of cars that are needed and are designed for the Nigerian road. Now, apart from this government patronage, uh, even though there was a time we had that the National Assembly rejected uh, the proposal for innocent vehicles and then opted for a more uh, an international vehicle. All right. So apart from these uh, government patronage, how much is IVM actually doing in cutting across the Nigerian masses? How many of the Nigerians drive IVM? These cars are top-notch cars. These cars can measure up with any car in the world. Their designs are something else. Okay? Their designs, they are, they are equipped with the latest, the latest car manufacturing technology, latest car, manuf uh, car features, all kinds of things you would want that would drive you to go and buy an international um, uh, car from other con country is in this. But how much have they actually done in winning the confidence of Nigeria? Because many people believe that if it's produced in Nigeria, then security and safety is not, which is a very important area that they must disabuse the minds of Nigerians. As for beauty, as for looks, as for features, as for many other things, Nigerians cannot deny that these guys are doing great. Okay? So, um, as for luxury, no. But one area that I believe that they must disabuse the minds of Nigerians in order to sell, or to cut across, or become more popular amongst Nigerian uh, uh, car lovers or car drivers, uh, uh, is the area of security and safety. Many people are asking the question, how secured and how safe is it? How durable is it to have a, a uh, an IVM? Okay, how durable is it? How safe it is? Now, from my, I don't own an IVM myself. But I know I have a, uh, a, a relative who is a traditional ruler who has one. And I can tell you that this car is some it's just it's just what it's just what it takes. It's just what it is. It's international standard is uh, is is wonderful. There is nothing you're looking for in internationally, uh, international uh, uh, cars that you can find in IVM. But the question is, what are, are they actually doing to get Nigeria believe that these cars are right for them? All right. Now, IVM has done so much in patronizing or uh, in uh, asking the federal government to come and patronize them. But I think they should concentrate more because most of their sales will not come from the federal government. Most of their sales will come from Nigerians buying from them. When Nigerians, individuals begin to buy innocent cars or individuals of Ghana, individuals of uh, many other countries in Africa and beyond begin to buy those cars that is when they will patronage will increase all right not just from the government how much how many can the government buy even if they buy a thousand pieces of a car and then it's not even all that so where their market is is to cut across to nigerians and one of the things they must do is to disabuse the minds of nigerians that because is a nigerian made car that it is not safe i don't know how they're going to do it i don't know if they if they let them organize a a car fair a kind of a fair displaying all their cars if possible testing their cars publicly 
and then letting Nigerians see how rugged those cars are. You know, many other car manufacturing uh, uh, car manufacturing companies do that. You know, subject the cars to some harsh weather, some harsh conditions. You know, and let them see how these cars navigate and how this strong these cars are. There are quite a lot to do. I think they've not done much in branding. I don't know how many times I watch Nigerian uh, televisions and I see adverts. They've not done much in branding. What stories are they telling? IVM, what stories are they telling as a company? So they had to do much more in branding. I don't know who is their media person. I don't know who is in charge of that area. They must not negate it. They, they must put away this Igbo traders mentality and then know that they want to become an internationally uh, claimed car manufacturing company. So a heavy, so much must be done in the area of branding. Some, a lot of things goes along with the branding apart from just the logos and everything, running the trade campaign and all, organizing fairs, tr um, trade fairs, displaying their cars and having ambassadors, getting ambassadors. They, you know, I think that's one of the things that we're trying to do in uh, BB Niger. But they had to get the cars ambassadors, get people who matters in the society to actually become the company's ambassadors. And then when Nigerians see them drive these cars, okay, and tell the stories of these cars, what story are these cars telling? Once you hear IVM, what impression does it create? I think they've not done so much in this area of branding, and that is why Nigerians are not are not patronizing it. I want the company to understand that their major market is when individuals and families begin to patronize these cars and not just the federal government. All right, I have so much to say about this, but because I don't want this to exceed a certain time, uh, how I wish that somebody will listen to what is just said and think towards that direction. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Uh, my name is Diddy Strides, and I'm signing out. Thank you.